What's good, homies? It's your man, Dr. BOA. You know, at some point, as a man, you have to just be honest with yourself about the fact that you got caught up. And there's no greater indication of this than a man who supports, and not only supports, but promotes and perpetuates his woman's wild side energy. See, there are some things that are meant to be left behind closed doors. But you can't leave it behind closed doors when your woman is a validation seeker. And this is never more prevalent than some of these women who are in the entertainment industry. See, sometimes these women remember their, their glory days and they want those days back. So it's kind of like with Ice Cube's Big Three League. There are some guys who remember the glory days of their NBA careers and so they wanted to play in the Big Three League. Decent thought, decent concept, but you can really look at it and, and you can see that these guys were washed as far as NBA careers go. Probably still beat you and me in the game, but in the entertainment industry, these women remember when they were the it girl. And so you have these 35, 40, 45, 50 year old women who are still trying to do what the young girls do because they know that their glory years are when they're young and in their most physically attractive state. They know it. We know it. We don't deny it. They don't even deny it. They may deny it with their words, but not with their actions. You know, I think this may be the last time I cover them because it's getting to the point where this dude is OK with his wife doing these things. And when you think that this is normal, it's not normal. Popular doesn't mean normal. When you think about the city of Sodom and Gomorrah, all the men were at the door telling lot, bring those men out here so that we may know them. And by know them, they don't mean sit down and play cards. So that was the popular thing, but you saw what happened with Sodom and Gomorrah. See, we're in a modern day Sodom and Gomorrah here, where even wives are behaving the same way that the thought pockets do. What is the difference between what Sierra is doing online, showing the world, twerking and exposing herself in several ways and what an exotic dancer does in a gentleman's club before she disrobes? There is no difference. The only difference is her husband is sitting right here, backing it up, going along with it. Now, I want you to, I want to point out one thing to you right now. You saw how at the end of this video, Russell Wilson jokingly put his hand up over the camera. That's that man. That's his inner man. The little bit of masculine man that he has inside of him lashing out saying, no, I don't want the world to see my woman doing this. This is his wife, man. And I'm going to be honest with you. Once she turned around and took her face off the camera, man, I ain't going to lie, man. CC was looking good right there, man. You know, I didn't even want to watch it. That's why I blurred it out, man. I didn't want us to be sitting here, man, looking at this man's wife like that. When she turned around, man, and dropped it low, man, I'm going to be honest with you. That was a good look right there. But it was not my look to see. It was not your look to see. It was Russell Wilson's look to see. But this is what happens when a man has no control over his lust and desires. He met the woman and said, this is the very reason he married her for this. But she was in her career at that point. This is just her at the crib putting on a show. I'm talking about barefoot with pajamas on, bro. She ain't even put herself together for the day. She just had to get that validation that she can't get from her husband. Because here's the thing. Once you marry a woman, man, your ability to validate her and the strength of those validations diminishes tremendously. Especially if you weren't her choice. See, I want y'all to understand one thing. If you look at the man she wanted to marry and then look at the man who she ended up marrying, those men are like night and day. And I know some beta male see my Johnny gonna come in here and say, Look at the boy. See, you're always trying to act like a woman don't know what you're doing, man. That woman, man, 
made a bad decision when she was trying to give it old future to that man. She don't want that type of man. She thought she wanted that type of man. But she didn't want him. She didn't want him. That's why she ain't no Russell Wilson. She wanted a good guy, a nice guy, that'd be away. Every woman think they want a thug, that'd be away. Until the nice guy come along and saves the day. Da -da -da -da. Super simp. And that's how it is, that'd be away. See, you don't know nothing about that. You know what? I think you're a super simp yourself, that'd be away. You do all this alpha male talking. All this pimp person talking, that'd be away. And I bet you ain't that but a super simp yourself. Take your shirt Let me see that ass on your chair, that'd be away. Unsubscribe. Okay, unsubscribe, sucker. But before you go, let me tell you this. A woman's first love is her true love. And that's the type of man that she's into. Now, she'll settle for a beta male who gonna pedestalize and treat her like a queen. But that don't mean nothing. Because what you see is the very thing that we just seen. Here's a woman with a husband, children. She's a mother, she's a wife. And I understand if your job is to be outperforming. But when you're at home with your family, why can't you leave that persona somewhere else? See, that's what a woman wants you to do. You understand? If I marry a woman right now, she wants me to be BOA when I'm out there. But then when I'm home with her, she wants me to leave BOA at the door. That's what a woman would want. She wants to be, she wants me to be the man behind the image. But see, the difference is there ain't no man behind the image. What you see is what you get. And it's the same thing with this woman. What Russell Wilson sees is what he gets. The problem is he got caught up on that and thought that he should marry it. I'm going to be honest with you, man. There are rules and regulations that a wife should follow. The same way there are rules and regulations that a husband should follow. A wife just shouldn't be able to do anything she want to do, man. She shouldn't be able to get in front of the camera like this. We're, we're in a situation in this society where the lines are so blurred that there are no lines anymore. A woman can do anything she wants to do. And she can either be a housewife or she could be a harlot. It don't matter. Everything is the same. No matter what a woman does, her actions cannot cause her to be labeled. Her actions cannot cause her to be compartmentalized into a specific group. We live in a society where the Jesse Bell spirit rules especially here in America. And so I ask you, man, is it okay for your wife to do this? Would you be okay with your wife doing this in front of the camera? This woman dropped down and twerked, and I promise you, I can guarantee you, because I've been around plenty of women with their PJs on at home, I guarantee you that woman didn't have no drawers on. I can guarantee you. So here this man woman is in front of the camera, in her PJs, hair ain't even done, just had to get that validation, and she in front of the camera twerking like this with her sleep pants on with no drawers. Because here's the thing about drawers. The way she dropped, you could have been able to tell she had drawers on. This woman, man, is in front of the camera, in her sleep pants, performing this way, and this guy just rolls up, <laughs> oh, oh, no, I don't really want y'all to see this. Man, this is a travesty, man. And here's the thing. What you do behind closed doors is your thing. But what this does, I ain't even worrying about the young girls with Sierra. They already already caught up on the Megans and Sierras of the world. I'm talking about these young guys who feel like, well, maybe if she slept with everybody on the football team, it's still okay to marry her. Uh, and maybe if she was a stripper, it's still okay to marry her. Uh, well, you know, maybe if she did some other things that I don't like. I know I don't like that right there, but uh, uh, that ain't the thing that I want my woman to do, but, you know, we live in a different world now where, you know, a woman can do whatever she want to do and ride the carousel and, and, and go through the whole amusement park even, and, and she's still good enough to be a wife. See, so, yeah, I'm going to marry her anyway. That's what these guys do, man. And it's guys like Russell Wilson who perpetuate this energy out there. And there's twice as many people Twice as many young men are going to listen to him because that's the easy way. The easy way is to not have standards. The easy way is to not have a set of rules and regulations that a woman must follow. The easy way is to let a woman do whatever she want to do and be whoever she want to be. Any woman can do and be whoever she want to be. But why are you going to make that woman your wife? That's what I want you men to understand. You can enjoy a woman if you want to, but have standards when it comes to the woman you're going to marry. Have standards when it comes to the woman you're going to marry. You know, people say how, you know, how men may talk about, you know, single mothers and all that. Man, we ain't saying single mothers are bad women. We saying that's below our standard. We don't have the right to have a standard. We don't have the right to have a standard. But then those same guys turn around and say, well, if you ain't getting no money, you don't need no woman. Be consistent across the board.
I'm consistent across the board. If you ain't getting about your money, you don't need to be worrying about no woman. And if a woman has made mistakes in her life that caused her to bring baggage into a relationship with you, you shouldn't be in a relationship with that woman. It's your choice. Just like it's Russell Wilson's choice to do this, to be with this woman. But damn, man, at least have some type of gumption about yourself. At least show a little bit of control in your life, in your relationship, in your household. Man, your woman is in front of the world doing this. That don't represent a woman, man, who's in a very happy place when it comes to her relationship. A woman who's in a happy place with her relationship, who's in a pleasant place with her man, she don't perform like this unless she's performing in her career. This ain't that. And if you're looking for a woman, man, that you're going to put in a relationship like this, she ain't that. Don't be Russell Wilson off the field. On the field, be Russell Wilson. Off the field, flee from anything that represents him. Because this is just a travesty. You got to pick a side. If you're going to be a beta male simple man, you're going to become the most alpha version of yourself. Y'all comment down below and let me know think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. I'm out. Alpha sub, beta's down, it's the motto. Simple, crazy.